Pleasure here, dancer extraordinaire, and what in the world is going on with yarn bombing? Oh my gosh, well, crocheting's like not for grandmas anymore. <laughs> yarn bombing is when you take a piece of yarn and you create something, wrap it around something in a public space, and leave it there for people to enjoy. So I it's about that. making people happy. I understand you're in H Town to yarn bomb us. Is it going to happen? <laughs> Okay. And I can make hearts pretty quick. Okay. So we'll see. As we chit chat here, I'm just going to start crocheting. So it happens that fast. Look at it this beautiful bag. Fast. I see. I love it. It's great. You can really do anything with yarn these days. Thinking outside of the box, making things unconventional, like my shoes. Yeah, let's 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 just step over and take a look at that. Yep. So you those were there's like a shoe under that and then you just do it over it? Exactly. So I take a shoe, crochet with it in my lap. And create a nice little cozy for it. How did you come up with this? Did anybody in your family do this and you just sort of caught on to it? Um, no one in my family did, like uh, not my mom or my grandmother, mm -hmm. but both of my great grandmothers okay. are knitters, crocheters, extraordinaire. So I think somewhere in the well, DNA. Well, I've been watching some of your stuff on Instagram and it's so fascinating to see it. And you do it so fast. I was watching you do it on fences all over the place. I couldn't even tell that you had anything in your hand. Like, it looks like you're doing it with your fingers. It happens so quickly. It does. I mean, I use a really big crochet hook. Mm -hmm. I actually got the patent for these crochet hooks I'm using uh -huh. here. They have a nice little twist and help things go a bit faster. Um, but a hook definitely helps. I would recommend if you pick up crocheting to use a hook. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are some of the more interesting projects that you've done? Oh my goodness. Well, I just had a book come out and inside of it you'll get to see all my favorite pieces uh -huh. with little stories behind each one. But I did a dragon on 6th Avenue and 14th Street in, uh, in New York City. Uh -huh. And, oh, that was probably my favorite. Oh no, I messed up. I, I got so it. into the <laughs> chit chatting. But, oh, luckily, no, good. but look how fast you do that. That's incredible. I have a little heart for you. Look at that. So this just takes you seconds to do. It takes usually about a minute and a half, and then you got to cut the strings and put a little pin in it, tag it, all that good stuff. But it's a fun project, and it makes people so happy. Oh, it does. Yeah. So do you just go and leave? So you just leave surprises, and then it becomes Instagram worthy just like that. I bet people are doing selfies all over the place. It's it's something about the yarn and it being so nostalgic uh -huh. that. When people see it on the street, it's different than just seeing a painted mural. It really kind of like touches on you in different levels. Sure. Though. I bet you just want to go hug your grandma or something and then look <laughs> at you. You're all so young and youthful at doing it. I think it's such a neat, different thing to do. Thank you. Yeah, sitting on the subway, everyone's on their phones and I'm there like making a rainbow or something crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and probably sparking interesting conversation, I'm sure, right? Does everybody ask you, what's going on here? It's just unusual to see, I think. Yeah, definitely. And knitting and crocheting, that whole community community really brings people together and it's such a wonderful thing. How can people follow you? On Instagram, Made by London, and you can get my book at Memorial Designs here in Houston. Oh, good to know. All right. We're going to keep yarn bombing, Sally. We'll come up with something for you. Oh, it looks like a good...